。新加坡总理黄循才表示，他和他的团队要建立的是一个允许人们有空间优转、放慢或暂停脚步，可以进行实验和脱离主流的社会。黄总理在今天六月二十二日分享的视频中指出，上任后他收到许多国人关于什么是新加坡梦，以及成功对我们而言意味着什么等类似提问。总理说，以往人们会以五 C 来作为衡量成功的标准，但这个标准过于狭隘，也可能带来负面的结果，并把负面的想法传给下一代。总理以自身的经历说，他从小学开始就读的不是人们公认的名校，当他有机会到美国深造时，他选择了威斯康星大学。在那时候，也许很多新加坡人都没有听说过这所学府。黄总理说，每个人有不同的技能、才能、梦想和优先想做的事情。一些人选择较慢的工作节奏，以便照顾家庭；也有人把重心放在事业上。每条道路都有所不同，人们无需攀比或强迫自己选择不喜欢的道路。他指出，政府希望拓宽人们对成就的概念，不只看重学历。总理说，本地社会已经习惯为一些职业附加声望，我们应该放开思想。接受人们可以在不同的方面取得成功。我们为有才华的年轻人和非凡的成就感到高兴，但我们也应该同样为那些大器晚成以及那些在经历一系列挫折后才获得成功的人感到开心。Since taking on my new role, many have asked to hear my views on issues you care deeply about. One topic that comes up frequently: What is the Singapore dream? What does success mean for us as a people? There was a time when success in Singapore was perceived to be all about material achievements. We called it the five C's: cash, car, credit card, condo, country club. Now these were not bad things in and of themselves. Who doesn't want a better life for themselves and their children? But we have also seen how such a narrow definition of success can lead to negative consequences. Our society becomes more frenetic. And competition more toxic as we seek to outdo each other. We become more anxious and stressed, and worse, we pass this on to our children. This is not the society I want Singapore to become. It is certainly not the society that I hope our children will grow up in. I want to see a Singapore where every Singaporean matters, where everyone is valued for who he or she is. One where we can all strive to be the best possible versions of ourselves. One where our success is defined by how we help each other to do well collectively. I know getting there will not be easy. Looking back on my own career. I too felt the same pressure to compete and compare with others. In fact, I was tempted to leave the government. But I met mentors who inspired me to stay in the public service, and it made all the difference. They took time to guide me and showed me how our work in the public service made a difference to Singapore and Singaporeans. With the help of my mentors, I was able to find purpose in the work I do, and eventually my calling in the public service. I hear similar feedback from many young Singaporeans I have spoken to. They don't want their self-worth and success to be defined by narrow metrics of academic and material achievements. They ask me if we can ever broaden our view of success, where different skills and talents can thrive. I too believe. Every Singaporean can find meaning and fulfillment in what we do. So, as we refresh our Singapore dream, let us also redefine what success should mean for Singapore. I have a few suggestions. As a society, we have become used to attaching prestige to some professions. We should open our minds and embrace the different ways people can flourish. We are happy for our young talents and super achievers, but we should equally embrace our late bloomers and those who get their second win after a series of failures and setbacks. Or take those in the healthcare sector. I interacted with many of them during COVID. Doctors are often celebrated because it is a profession people think is prestigious, but there are many other unsung heroes: nurses, physiotherapists. Occupational therapists, radiographers, who put in their hearts and souls in supporting every patient's recovery. To me, they are all successful role models we should look up to. 
Success is about excelling at what we do today, persevering at it and doing it with pride instead of worrying about status or rewards. We all have our own aspirations and hopes. Sometimes, despite our best efforts, we may not get what we want. There are only so many places in a school or college. In any organization, there are limited positions at the top. But do not despair. When a door closes, other doors will open. As a child, I never went to the schools that our society deemed the best. I chose the neighborhood schools nearest my home. When I had the chance to pursue my undergraduate degree overseas, I went to a state university in the US, which I think many Singaporeans would not have heard of. I may have taken a different path from my peers, but I am happy with my choices and I made the most of my opportunities. We all have different aptitudes and talents, our own aspirations and priorities. Some may opt for a slower pace of work to care for their families. Others may aspire to move up the career ladder or pursue exciting business ventures. Each path is different. There is no need to compare. There is no need to judge. There is no need to squeeze ourselves into boxes we were never meant to fit. Whichever path we choose, let us appreciate what we have and revel in the success of others. This is not a zero-sum race. We are all in this together, and we truly succeed only when we succeed together. My team and I want to build a society that allows space for U-turns, sidesteps, slowdowns, pauses, experimentations and outliers. We want to broaden our concept of achievement beyond academic credentials. We are taking proactive steps to value the contributions of every worker in every profession and every field. I need your help to do more as a society. Let us make a commitment to one another. Celebrate every kind of success. Respect all forms of work, and never be afraid to try, even if setbacks are inevitable. For no matter which path we take, we will cheer each other on and support each other. Together, we can each write our splendid versions of the Singapore story and take Singapore forward into a brighter future. 今天的视频就到这里，感谢收看。如果您喜欢我们的节目，请关注新加坡之音。